Hello. The wise and discerning among you will have noticed that I have not been around ACMB Church very much in the past couple of months. That's because my rehabilitation has taken some unexpected and very positive steps, to which I'll come in a moment. But first of all, I want to say thank you to all of you from the very bottom of my heart and soul. Six years ago, when I was at my lowest point in many respects, health and mental health wise, you, the people of St Mark, St Dennis, St John and All Saints, welcomed me in the name of Christ. The welcome you gave me was more valuable than you can ever know. You welcomed me as someone who, despite the pain and suffering that I was going through, brought valid gifts. Many of you have nurtured gifts in me. Some gifts which I knew I had, perhaps web design and photography and graphics and all those things which I have become notorious for. But also gifts of speaking and of prayer and perhaps even of preaching from time to time although I think perhaps you were more gracious than you knew about my efforts. So to reiterate, thank you because you welcomed me in Christ's name at a time when I needed it so very much and I look forward to hearing about all the good things which God does among you in the years to come. I am very sad that because of coronavirus and COVID, this is a virtual goodbye, not a physical one. But I hope that at some point in the future, I will be able to come back and say thank you in person to all of you. And so to move on to the rehabilitation story, which some of you know, some of you will have guessed, and some of you will merely be curious about. I'm currently sitting in Trilene. Trilene is a Vancouver 27, which has been in a boatyard for a long time. She is undergoing her own rehabilitation. And as she does so, she is part of my rehabilitation too. You see, for many years, I could not face being connected with the water. Having had my career torn away, the water had become a dangerous thing to me. But recently, over the past year or so, I've got back into sailing with the help of a foundation, the Andrew Castle Foundation, who promote excellence in disability sailing. And about eight, nine months ago now, I started to think that it might be an important part of my rehabilitation to renovate a boat and to sail on her. And that this thing that I am doing now, this renovation, might be a really important step in my ongoing rehabilitation. That is, undoubtedly a risky strategy and it's one which I thought about a lot and I've thought about with the people who care for me and with my family a lot but it's coming to pass now and I have to say after a day in which I've spent cutting away sanitary hose and running cables and painting things lots of painting and in general being at the lowest point of a boat, of sailing, that deep refit stage. I am enjoying myself hugely. And this I take as a gift from God because for many years, I thought that I might never enjoy this or indeed much else ever again. So I'll close now, but I will say, and I know that over this period of the coronavirus pandemic, many of you have become more digitally connected than you ever were before. 
You can follow Trilene's journey on YouTube and on Instagram. On Instagram, she's at Sailing Trilene. That's T R I L L E E N. And on YouTube, the channel is also Sailing Trilene. But I'll ensure that a link to it goes out with this video. So to close, thank you and may God bless you all richly in the years to come.